Hello everyone, this is Evie. Welcome back to Turquesadat and this is my second Pogist art creation video share. So today we're going to be working in my art journal. This is part one and for this page I've gone to my art journal and found this spread that I had already worked on and I'm thinking of beta, beta fish. Beautiful colors, majestic movement and feisty little animals so those are the two pictures or photos that I searched for online as a reference for my drawing and I went back to my journal and I drew one on each page they will be facing each other but in this video we're gonna be working on the right hand page so first I'm gonna gesso in with white with gesso all of the areas for the first little fish so I can then work on top of that and get brighter colors and as you can see I have a very textured and rough background to work on so it should be interesting to see all of the texture that comes out on my painted fish so I'm gonna go in and fill all of my fish with white gesso I'm following my very lightly drawn pencil lines and I'm gonna fill in all of it with that white gesso and let that dry before I can go back in and give him some bright colors and I will be using warm colors to give some contrast against that cool colored background and I'm actually going to be trying some more of the silks that I recently bought from a D-Stash. So we'll see how those work on my art journal today. So I hope everyone's doing well and you're enjoying your weekend and getting to see a lot of video shares under this Pogist art hashtag. I've been able to watch quite a few still have not been able to leave comments on a lot of them because I've been working on my own art while I watch them so I'm loving this way of recording things while I'm working without sound so I can get to do other things <laughs> so now I'm gonna go back in once it's dry and I'm gonna go over my outline drawing just so that I can define my drawing from the background because I also have some white gesso texture and modeling paste on that background so I want to be able to define my drawing a little bit more right before I go back with my paints so I'm going over all of my lines and defining them with that colored pencil and once I've done that I've decided to use some metallic pearl white and mix that in with my pumpkin orange which is a bright orange just so that I can get some shimmer on his um, color so I dropped a lot of orange on top of that just because I don't want it to get peachy color so I mix both of those together and that way my orange becomes a pearly orange and now I'm gonna start going back to my little fish and giving him some base color that I can build on with my other layers afterwards so I'm gonna cover all of my area I started with one brush and then had to change to an angled brush so I could get all those thin ends with more precision and I'm gonna fill in all of my areas with that orange that I've created by mixing those two so hopefully 
I'll be able to work on both pages today but I want to make sure that at least I have this one already done and I'll share it with you as I create it and then I'll be going back and creating my second page and adding the drawing part to it so I thought it would be perfect to use both of these one on each page because as you know the beta fish I don't know how you pronounce it in English but it's B-E-T-A so we call it beta in Spanish you know you can't have them together because they always fight so even when they're looking at their own reflection they open up and become aggressive so since I had that little aqua division in between those two pages I decided it would be kind of like a two little fish tanks looking at each other and I'll have this one looking more peaceful and regal but relaxed in his own area and then I'm thinking of creating the other one with his aggressive pose so I'm not now I'm gonna go back in with the silk paints and I start with a lighter color which is the the one that I just showed I can I think it's the apricot nectar and I lightly make some defined lines on it but I'm not quite happy with the contrast that I'm getting against my background so I decide to change it up and go to the ginger peach which is a darker tone and start playing with that to see how I like that on top of all the acrylic that I have already painted and as you can see this one gets a lot darker and I'm working on top of a lot of texture so to get all my fine lines and details on top of that would be impossible because I have to go over that textured background with my brush so I'm just letting it happen as I add my colors and I'm playing with my different tones by adding those brush strokes in the ginger peach and since this paint is a glaze my idea is that I can paint this second layer with the glaze and hopefully go over that with another orange layer and I'll be able to see some of that glaze um, show through so that's why I'm not too worried about the specific lines that I'm making or the definition I'm just I'm just giving it some tones so now I'm going to go back to the apricot nectar and add that one right next to the ginger peach. And once again I'm fast forwarding or speeding up the process. So you get to see how I add all the colors and all the layers. but in a fast mode so you don't have to sit through all of my painting which is very relaxing to me so I take my time and I do it carefully and peacefully I don't rush through so I'm glad I get to speed up my videos so you guys can get to see the whole process without having to sit out and wait for me to do the whole thing because I usually get interrupted by the kids so I, I'll do some parts and then I'll I'll stop and go do whatever has to be done and then I'll come back and add another layer and that way I can get to play and do my projects without having to stress about having to film them in one shot so now I went back in with some metallic sequin black I added that with the back of the brush to the eye and now I'm adding some little detailed lines throughout the whole fish 
and once again I'm thinking of going over all of this with the bright orange and hopefully get all of those um, to show through a little bit and make them softer so that's why I'm not too worried about these lines being too dark right now so I'm hoping to finish this early today so that I can upload the video and then I can get to watch all of the other videos that I haven't been able to watch because I knew I was I would want to like sit and really take a closer look at what they were painting or drawing or creating but I love um, the way this has helped me keep motivated and want to try new things and just want to play and experiment with themes that I haven't worked with like animals I'm not one to work with animals too often so I wanted to do something that had to do with land and something that had to do with water and I don't think I'm gonna be able to go to to get to the sky part at least not doing the hashtag but I was hoping to be able to do some kind of fish and some kind of land animal and then hopefully some kind of bird but it's not looking like I'll be able to because I was way too tired yesterday and I fell asleep super early and I didn't wake up until today so now you're gonna see me add that bright orange over everything that I just painted and I start with a bright orange and then I'll go back into the pearlized one that I still have on my plate and play with that too and just keep adding different tones of orange to my to my little fish here so there you go now he's completely covered with that orange again but you still see some of the colors that I added underneath showing through and it just builds the layers and the texture on it even more so we'll see where he goes from here he's a little bit more realistic than the other fish um, pieces that I've done lately but not like too detailed on the drawing I'm just letting the paint flow and let it tell me what to do you know I just I'm just going with it and having fun it's my art journal so it's to me it's like a visual exploration of materials and drawings and paintings and techniques it doesn't have to be perfect and it doesn't have to be realistic and like old detailed and stressed related it has to, it just it just flows it just happens so I'm adding more of the actually now I went back in with a yellow rose which is a golden tone and I'm adding some highlights with that and then some more of the black and this is how he looks after all of those layers so I'm going to let all of this dry and then I'm going to back, go back in for a second part video and I'll be working with probably color pencils and maybe some other way of defining him now that I have all of my base layers on. So I'll be back for that. So thanks for watching. Hope you liked this first part and hope you're enjoying Pogus art and all of the artists who are and creators who are sharing their videos this weekend so besitos everyone thanks for watching and take care remember to watch out for part two bye